Hello, my friends. Today, we're going to go through my checklist for what I need to achieve in order to get tier five archers and talk about, interestingly, what the new equipment updates, the changes to the iconic system means for free to play players. So stay tuned for that. Part of my dedication to this channel. I have done the following checklist to see exactly what I need for tier five. Bam. So I need 10,616 books of the covenant, 10,012 arrows of the watch tower, arrows of resistance. See, I know rock and 51,180 generic or generic slash research speed ups. And then I'm tier five. So if you provide those there, I have based this, the calculations I did were based on the fact, here we go, I've got 86% research speed. I put it, I just put it up to 96. On the proviso, I'll always have at least a 10% rune. It's quite conservative because with the extra 7% from level 25 academy, I will get, uh, well, 103%. And of course, if I get kingdom buff, scientist title, it goes up and up and up. When I'm, I'll, I'll endeavor to do that when I am. So this, this, when I can. So this is kind of, uh, this number here is kind of the, the, the max. It will presumably be a few thousand less. My current speed up situation is as follows. Pretty poor. You know, we got the 20 heads. We got the 20 heads. I don't, I don't mean to dwell on it, but since you asked, free to play player winning this. I have used all my speed ups though, and I didn't maximize them perfectly, but you know, ne never mind. I have, I worked it out 2,770 hours worth of generic slash research speed ups, which is a dent. A small dent on what I need. So I need just another 47,000 hours. A long gold slog. I need the castles we see close to 22 now. That's 11 or 12 more books of the government achieved just being by running forts. So I'm just running forts. I'm assuming that I'm going to get the watchtower at some point relatively easily. You can buy the watchtower things with not just crystals, but in KVK where you're doing that thing where you can Excuse me, swap gold heads. No, cheers, by the way. Obviously, we're drinking because we're doing a uh, video. You can buy arrows of resistance for that, so I'm not too fussed about that. I'm just focusing everything I can on the castle. We saw the other day that I spent 48,000 gems on books. So I'll need to spend, let's get it back, just over 100,000 gems to get. So I could get tier five now if I wasn't afraid to play by spending the equivalent of 200,000 gems on the castle and the watchtower and then going for research. As I said, I'm making sure that I go for research uh, for the castle, sorry, as soon as possible because and then then the watchtower because those are prerequisite for the level 25 academy. As I said, the level 25 academy gives you a nice little research speed boost. 7% doesn't seem like much, but I mean, let's just, let's work it out. I've got it here. Here we go. So if I go from 90, so currently it's, I will need 853 days, 13 hours, 33 minutes and 25 seconds. However, if I add an extra 7%, that knocks it down by to 824 days. So, you know, like 27 days is a lot. Hence my desire to do this. If I get that hundred, if I get an extra 5% research rune, 10% kingdom buff, 5% scientist buff. That's an extra 5, 10, 50, 20. So that'll be, oh, I'm getting lost here. Let's just say 118. I think that's about right. That knocks it down to 767 days required. So the minimum we'll need is 767 days, which is a lot. <laughs> we, we really need to focus all we can on gaining speed ups. Of course, you do that through daily tasks, just playing the game, but also from chaining barbarians. One of the big reasons I'm so keen to get YSG up to this next level, and he's getting there. He needs 49, 129 more heads and he's there, is this lovely little fan it goes into something circular. You get extra damage, but the big thing for me is the circular thing, and you can just chain barbarians to your heart's content. So those are the big plans for me. Chaining barbarians equals more speed ups. More speed ups equals wicker tier five time. But as always, the bottlenecks, the castle, and to a lesser extent, the watchtower. I haven't included the building speed ups because to be honest, they're not that important. Like I think it takes about 17 days for the castle, probably about the same for the academy to get from 24 to 25. But there's going to be no scenario in which I finish the 
the research before the building. So I'm just accepting the building's going to take a while. I'm, I'm actually building the hospital today, not of anything, uh, not of any desire other than to get my 650 gems here. Oh, let me segue in while we're here. If anyone hasn't seen this so far, there's loads of YouTube videos out there. I'm sure you probably have. Where is it? Oh, I don't know how to do it on here. I know it's on my phone. Is it the account thing? Other? Oh, I forget. Here? Uh, basically, there's this, um, uh, there, there's a new feature in the game where it's called the Lilith Pass. And the Lilith Pass, I don't know how to get it on here, but on your phone, there's an account button round about here. And the account button lets you go in, you basically get stuff for free. The premise is the more you spend or have spent on the game, the more stuff you get for free, culminating in a 3000 gem pack if you put some stuff in. And you'll get some gold keys, crystal keys. It's pretty good. You can only do it for one account. And I've, as true, true to my word, I'm making sure this is properly, properly free to play this account. So I haven't put anything in this one. I put it all in my main account, but it's pretty good. Uh, rewards for free are always quite beneficial, so please do spend the time to look on the account bit of the mobile phone version of Rock and get into the Live Pass and see what you can get for free. If nothing else, you get some speed ups, not many. You get some silver keys, a lot of them, gold keys, crystal keys. It's better than a slap in the face. Yep, better than that. Uh, so there we go. We have, as we've seen, a long gold road to tier five. I'll keep this updated. I've saved it. Uh, so I, we can track, I'll try and put it on every episode so we can see how I'm going. Because now, as I've stated before, the goal is all about getting to tier 5. We got to VIP 12. We're going to keep farming gems once the new KVK opens. And I'm enjoying my little break for now. But once it opens again, we're not going to slack. Because you can even use gems to buy speed ups if you really need to. However inadvisable it is. I presume I'm just going to use the gems to buy the books until we get to level 25. Because it's a low grind otherwise i'm also going to leverage probably on marauders but maybe in kvk some of my copious amounts of action points i mean how many action points do we actually have here it's a very stat based episode so 100,000 worth of 50s 11 110,000 worth of 100s okay so we've basically got 300,000 action points here which is a lot like especially for a free to play account, I basically haven't used any. I always use my daily AP. I make sure I maximize that, but I haven't really used anything else. Oh, wait, is um, sorry, one second. I wanted to, there we go, not have Thutmose go out. Uh, so there we go. All, all sorted. We'll, we'll chart that as we go and see how close we're getting to tier five. I mean, when KVK starts, then we'll be able to really take the days off because then the speed up for rewards comes. You get gems for the crew there, uh, whatever it's called, the chronic rewards. So then it all speeds up quickly. For now, it's a slow grind. We finished Alliance mobilization. I didn't do much, but our account, our Alliance obviously smashed. Most alliances at this point will smash. Most Top alliances and new kingdoms are very active compared to all these, so they'll, they'll smash. And they're, these are all right at the bottom of the the list, as in there's different, oh, where is it? Different leagues. And of course, everyone starting new is in Fearless Brond. Bronze, and you will tend to smash all the Fearless Brond alliances, which we did easily, so we get promoted. Individually, I got these rewards. Nothing too amazing. Nothing in the Crystal Keys, to be honest. I'm gutted we didn't get this, because... You know, I really want those blueprint fragments, but alas, c'est la vie. Oh, right. On to the iconic equipment. So I've looked into it long and hard, and my analysis... I've seen loads of great videos from Omniarch, Chisgool, loads of great content creators. Dramatic pause. And my analysis is this iconic equip equipment system is pretty much useless for free-to-play players. An example. I have... An iconic item with a crit because i'm fantastic so what can we do to upgrade that further let's go and have a look i don't know if you actually i think it has to be season of conquest doesn't it i haven't looked too much uh, awaken there we go no apparently not so i can spend 15 of these 15 ebony legendary equipments which let me tell you is a steep cost and one Milky Way blueprint. 
and 20 million gold, which is a fair old cost to get enemy defense ignored plus 1% plus yeah, something else in season. It's like as the game goes further on, it gets a slight, slight improvement. Not really a lot, is it? Let's be honest. I mean, we're spending a huge amount at this stage when our Thutmos has on... I mean, he has one piece of gold equipment. He has two blues. Okay, well, that's not really a, a classic blue, but he has this. I'm still waiting for the purple equipment. I'm basically doubling down on my best piece of equipment, make it a little bit better at the cost of loads of equipment I could be using to craft new ones of these, craft, I don't know, the Dragon Breath set as and when it comes. I'm not saying this is completely useless in the long run. Like There will come a time, especially now we've got this Crit Milky Way, which we're going to use for a long, 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 long time, that it's going to be beneficial to put some uh, to put some materials and iconic crystals in there. But at this stage, I don't, just don't think it's more beneficial than making, for instance. I mean, where is it? Uh, not the legs, it's the this one. Yeah, we, we could make the Eternal Knight thing. We could give a 12% bonus to the infantry defense. I mean, we can't actually make it, so we haven't got enough materials, but... I mean, how many is this? It's 50, 60. It's, only, it's four times more materials than what we need to awaken this to the next tier, but... I mean, the improved stat we'd get is massive compared to what we'd get from just specializing in the Milky Way a tiny, tiny bit. I don't know, my... Uh, let me know what you think. I, as with most things in Rise of Kingdom, let's be completely honest, I don't feel this iconic system is aimed towards free-to-play players. You've got the free-to-play, like, is superb players, like 12 PvP who've been playing for years with their free-to-play account. I'm sure they could, they could uh, leverage this. There are plenty of iconic crystals, plenty of, uh, plenty of materials, I presume. Well, they're maybe not, and I'm sure it's quite good for them. Once you've had a free-to-play account two, three years, it might be worth doing, but until then, I'm just going to ignore it. I'd rather just craft new pieces of legendary equipment than specialise in the little I have. I'm never going to be a rally lead, a garrison lead. I don't think it's for me, but let me know what you think in the comments. I, I'd be interested to hear if people think I'm missing the point or if people agree with me. This is a another bit of rock that isn't geared towards the free-to-play player. Shocker, right? Rock is a designed to make money that's the whole point as with all businesses in life so I, I don't blame them for it just it's worth noting if you're a free to play player i wouldn't bother my your pretty little head about it my friends anyway 7k gem event coming really soon i'm looking forward to it presumably it will come out i don't know they usually come out on the monday tuesday and i guess if it's coming out for christmas it makes sense to come out next monday or tuesday which is good for me because i'm away this week i'm in poland as of tomorrow so i'll be well, I won't have any... I'll try and do a video to come out, actually, but I probably won't get around to it. Uh, but I won't be able to really smash it. So I'm looking forward to smashing the 7K gems when I get back. Until then, my friends, we've seen we're absolutely friggin' miles away from Tier 5, but I like having the numbers. It's a road we can traverse together. I won't bother with the iconic stuff, but let me know if you disagree, and I will see you on the next edition of Greg Waits for the next KVK impatiently.